All right, let part two of this CGC Epic Unboxing commence now. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. I am Skeff with Skeff's Comic Knowledge. Thanks so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. So today, we're going to finish up part two of that massive... 125 books CGC unboxing. You guys are able to power through me on that first one with 75 books. Today will be much easier. We only have 50 books today, so we'll get through those hopefully a little quicker and hopefully a little less redundancy in this one. I think there's a little more variety in these two boxes than they were in the first three boxes. But guys, there'll be a giveaway at the end of this video as well, so stick around, stay tuned, pay attention, and you'll be able to enter the giveaway. I'll tell you how to do that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and start things off here. We've got 50 books. First book up is going to be a copy of Silk, I believe. And it's going to be a... Oh, an NG. Hmm, weird. All right, that's odd. So NG, NG means no grade. They normally give those to books that are like so beat up they can't give it a grade. This one says it's coverless, which is incorrect because this is the back of it and that's the front of it. You're like, Skeff, no, that's the back of it again. That is also correct. This book has two butts. This book has two butts and no front. <laughs> so this is the back of issue number one, cover A, cover B, and cover C. But this is the back of the 1 in 100, which somehow ended up on the front of a few copies. I sent off two of these in this submission today. It looks like they'll probably both be coming back NG. And I sent off my third copy to CBCS back about four or five months ago, which came back in a 9.8 and actually said error on there. This is an error book that I have seen pop up online. So I know this is an error one. I know it's not missing the front cover. So I'll have to give CGC a call about it. But that's super weird that uh, got an NG on there because there's two back covers and no front cover. So interesting way to start out this video. All right, up next is going to be, I think, another copy of that Silk, which should also be receiving a NG as well. Yeah, super weird. Book has two backs, no front. All right, next up is, oh, I really love this cover, I think. It's a Me You Love in the Dark Frizzin. It's one of my favorite Frizzin covers out there. This one is the third iComics that we got a, ooh, I love this. All right, let's show it off to you. I absolutely adore this cover. Great little five-issue series by Scott Young, but I don't know what about this cover. This is one of my favorite prison covers. So really stoked to get this one back in a 9.8, but absolutely banger cover. I think I submitted two of these in here today. This is a trade dress, and there's a virgin one out there. Oh, this is the uh, very cool Black Knight Hans in a 9.8. Stephanie Hans crushed this cover. This is a five-book connected cover set. This is number one of five issues, and there's four of the connected covers. But this is number one. Very excited to get that one in 9.8. Like I said, guys, this is 50 books I'm unboxing today. There's not as many repeats as the first box, but the cost to get all these books graded uh, with shipping back was $20.70. And most of the books I have today, I have into them for uh, cover price or maybe like 10 to 15 bucks. Nothing, none of them I have anything too crazy into. If I do, I'll mention it. But most of them are fairly cheap. And a lot of them were kind of like some spec things that I just wanted to get graded and kind of see how it turned out. So, for example, like this is one of those ones where I'm just like, oh, this is a very interesting series from Boom Studios, The Many Deaths of Layla Star, number one. But I thought this was an absolutely exquisite David Mack foil. But I didn't see too many of them out there. So I'm just like, all right, the series is pretty interesting. And David Mack's phenomenal and foil. So I'm just like, you really can't go wrong with a really cool death variant foil. So these are just some fun books that I thought would be really cool to get graded. Like the Silk number ones, I was going to try to sell them, but I'm just like, now nah, i got to call CGC and to figure out, like, can we get them regraded? Like, we know they're error ones, and what can we do kind of moving forward? So next up, we got another one of these beautiful David Mack foils in a 9.8. That's fantastic. But these were received by CGC in September, and they were delivered to me here in January. So it took a little over four months to get here, which isn't too bad at all. This is a book that it was had some heat, and then it died down, and then it picked up some heat again. It's a very weird book, but I thought it was a beautiful wraparound cover. Thor number six, the second printing, in a 9.8, but just got the Marvel Zombie. Like, there's a lot of interesting things going on with this, with this cover, and just like a lot of mysteries. But I thought it was really cool. Very, very fun book. So sure, some of these books might not be worth too much, but at the end of the day, when you get most of these total costs invested into the book for like $25, $26, 
very rarely, even if they come back 9.8, won't be able to sell them for at least like 45, 50 bucks. So, we're, you know I mean, it's a small profit, but it's a profit nonetheless. And, you know, these are the baby steps you kind of have to take. Uh, next up is a Me, Love in the Dark, one of my favorite prison covers out there. Absolutely. I don't know what it is. I love this cover. And, oh, what? Oh. We, all right, so it's a 9.2. I easily see why it's a 9.2 right now. I guess I missed it. That's crazy. So 9.2 Frizen. Absolutely love this cover. I thought it was absolutely beautiful cover. But 9.2 looks like there's some like, like, like chipping near the staple here. I must have missed. I don't think I missed it, but really, really beautiful. I, I just think Frizen killed this cover. So me, Love in the Dark, exclusive from Third Eye Comics. But beautiful book, beautiful book there regardless. What cover do we have? Oh, we got the 1 in 25 Albuquerque variant in a 9.8. That's fantastic. I very much enjoyed Basquiat's from what I from Boom, but Boom has been pretty... I've, I've enjoyed most of the Boom series I've read, so really can't go wrong. This is the next book. This one's pretty fun. This is Invincible Iron Man number 3. I bought seven of these about four or five months ago for like 15, I think, a piece off of someone from like Instagram, and four of them looked perfect. So I sent four, four of them off to get graded. One of the four so far came back in 9.8. But the reason I want to submit those for grading is that in that issue, the very first time, it's referred to as Iron Heart. So it's the first time her name is mentioned. So I thought that was really cool. And it feels like it'll be pretty significant going forward when she kind of gets named in the show. Next up, Infamous Iron Man number one. This one I think I paid about $25 for. This is the 1 in 10 uh, Diodato variant. Picked this up off a whatnot auction. They said it was a perfect shape. It looks like it was. So excited to get that one back in a 9.8. Next up, I think it's the 1 in 50 Basilisk number one. Oh, it is. Okay, Basilisk number one, 1 in 50 Ward Virgin cover. Beautiful cover on that one. Next up, Miles and Morales 25. I think this is going to be the Pacelli cover. Beautiful it is. This one came back 9.8. Uh, if you know, Pacelli had a little bit of a hand in helping curate Miles Morales, so this is a book that I didn't pick up till after it came out, but when I did buy it, I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it, so I couldn't pass this up for 10 bucks for that beautiful Pacelli goodness, and it looks like it was a flawless condition. Ooh, next up, we finally got the first Something is, kill something is Killing Children uh, from this massive video, and it came back in 9.8. This one I picked up off of a Facebook sh uh, sh like claim sale. I think it was like 10 bucks, and I bought a couple other things, but this one cost me 10. This is one of my favorite, from issue 16, uh, top three covers. But I love Ji Hung Lee's cover, her, their take on Erica, I thought was phenomenal. So this is one I love. I like this one better than the foil. I like this one better than the foil. I didn't like the foil as much. I felt like, I don't know, I felt like it took away from there. All right, next up, I think is a wind, but which printing though? This is a wind number one, third printing, ah, oh, 9.6. This is a very hard to find third printing. There's not many of these out there. You guys go look them up. They're not going for too much right now, but there's just a lot of potential with a third printing. So anytime I try to find one, uh, I'll pick them up. This one I actually ordered. I actually ordered five third printings. So my brain's like, no one's going to order this. And I guess no one else really did. So there's my one 9.6 so far. That's not too bad though. One 9.6 so far. Next up, Marvel Voices. The first like, the guy. Oh, oh, man. 9.6. Uh, God of the Spiders in here. 9.6 in that one. All right. Dang it. All right. So two 9.6s back to back. All right. Next up is going to be the like the barbershop cover uh, for the Marvel Voices. This one we got a... <laughs> All right. Three, three 9.6s so far isn't bad. Not too shabby. All right. Next up, I think we've got one other one for like the PC. Thanos number 14 in a 9.8. The first cover appearance of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Big fan of the Thanos run by Dinah Cates, and I absolutely love the Cosmic Ghost Rider. One of the one of my favorite characters. Thought it was just a really, really clever idea. But Thanos number 14, first printing, first cover appearance. Alright, getting down to the last few books. Only got three nine sixes so far, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna call those NG the wash. We're gonna call CGC and see what happened. I uh, got one, I think it's just one of these in here. Electric Black number one, 9.8. Just the first printing of a series that I really enjoy by Joseph Smolke. Uh, Star Wars High Republic number 7. The 1 in 25. I think I got this for pretty close to nothing. I think it was like 10 bucks. Maybe I paid for this one. Just thought it was a really cool 1 in 25 ratio variant. Oh, this is another great uh, ECGCE and Scott's Collectibles cover. So the Department of Truth number 10. Just a really cool black and white cover on there. 
Okay, next up, we're going to have a couple more of those infamous Iron Man number threes that I thought were in perfect condition. Ah, wish they were. Awesome. Like I said, I'll probably sell one of those. Keep the other one. See where it goes. Infamous Iron Man number three. Perfect. That is awesome. And let's even go four for four on those infamous Iron Mans. I'll be ecstatic if we can. Hey, let's go. Let's go. So four for four on those. That's not bad. Oh, last book. So we have three nine sixes so far. And then 2NG, super weird. This last book, oh, this last book is probably one of my favorites of the batch. One of the most expensive books, I think, in this entire thing. This is a Rick and Morty, uh, this is a Rick and Morty number one. And you're like, that doesn't look like a number one. It is. It's a number one sketch cover. There's not many of these out there. They aren't commanding, I think, too high in a price right now. But when I bought mine, this I bought maybe about a year ago. At a half price books for, I think, $65. And it's just one of the things where, like, it is a Rick and Morty number one from 2015. It's just not the most expensive one yet but it was really cool to finally get one snag one track one down they're they're just getting really expensive and i'm just really happy to kind of have one so rick and morty number one for the pc super stoked this one came back at nine point i should have waited for like a sketch or a remark from somebody but there just wasn't any of those happening and i'd rather just get it encapsulated and safe for now and worry about it another day but happy to end it on this 9.8 for there all right let's get into box number two shall we all right you beautiful humans you have made it this is the last box this is the final this is part two the ending the final box for this massive unboxing. All right, I am excited, I am exhausted, I am filled with emotion. So far, we have only received a total of nine 9.6s and two NGs, and then a 9.2. So super weird, but that is phenomenal compared to everything else has been a 9.8. But granted, they're all modern, so it has been a wild ride so far, but still great numbers, great odds, and it feels good to just get so many high grades back. All right, back to cover, super easy to tell what this is. And one of my favorite things that come out of Aftershock, We Live, number one, first printing, and a 9.8. Great way to start out the box. This series, everyone loves it now. This series is so good. I love We Live, number ones. I love We Live number twos, and number threes, and number four, and number fives. But I really enjoy the series. It has some absolutely phenomenal artwork. It's very well well written. And all in all, like, it just, it hits, it checks all the boxes. So I cannot wait for the second series to come out. Really looking forward to it. The Miranda Brothers perfectly delivered on this one. So I have a couple of these that I think I submitted. So one 9.8 so far. And then this is my second copy, which we got a... 9.8 all right all right much better start than some ngs much better start than some ngs like i said guys there'll be a giveaway in this video as well so stick around stay tuned and i'll show you what the giveaway is so next up we're gonna have a big book oh let's go war of the realms new ages of atlas number one stoked to get this one 9.8 i think i bought this I forgot where I bought this from, but I know this wasn't cover price. I think it was like maybe like $20, $20 $30 before this got really expensive. So I have to get that one here. I think I have a number one and number two that I submitted. First, we have some Sons of Killing Children. Now, shout out for this. I love this cover. Now, this cover is going for any crazy amount right now. I think it's like maybe, I think ungraded, there may be like 10 bucks, And I think graded, there may be like 40 or 50 But it's still a number one. It's still the eighth printing. It's the eighth and final printing, uh, which was a very interesting gimmicky way they kind of put this out there. But really excited. I think I submitted. I think there was ten of these I submitted. I think I maybe paid like I think I paid like a, like four dollars cover price for each one of them. So regardless, I'll sell some, keep some, and still make a little bit of profit. So there's one copy, two copies, three 9.8s, four 9.8s, five 9.8s. And then number six, number seven is a nine eight. Let's go. And the last one. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. All eight of them came back nine point eight. Uh -huh. I love that series. If you didn't know, I really enjoy that series. Oh, we got this. Is, this is the more expensive copy or the more expensive book. Number two. Yes. Number two and a nine point eight. So these are really difficult. I think to get in a nine point eight. The reason is. On the back, they have this Avengers Endgame. These were really known for really bad printer rubs. All black back does not help out the book at all. And a bit of a darker front as well. So for a modern book, I feel it's a little bit of a harder one to get in a 9.8. So the ones you do get, I think that's why they're such a little bit higher value. But really excited to get that one in a 9.8. Oh, the next couple of books are going to be some interesting books. 
So this is a spawn book. Now I don't do very many spawn books on the channel. Uh, one, they're very expensive for the ones that do, you do want to get graded. Two, they're not, and therefore I don't really want to get them graded. Or three, they're just normally kind of like really hard to find in clean shape. But these are the Kickstarter ones for the spawn action figure. So he actually included, when you bought the trilogy set, each figure came with a comic book. I basically bought them for the comics. Because I'm like, oh, these are going to be like Spawn comics that are going to be like short print run that I don't know how good a shape they're going to be in. So, like I said, I was lucky. All of mine looked like they came in tremendous shape. So I sent them off and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll submit them for a pre-screen. And therefore, like, oh, they're not 9-8. I won't worry about it. Well, this, you know, big bearded fool didn't, you know, mark pre-screen for this massive haul. So, um, let's see how we did. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. So there is... This is one of the covers. There's two other covers that are going to look the same. This is the only one that's different. The reason I'm like, these are terrifying, because like, it's all black. And like, they were just kind of put in like, not really a top loader. It's kind of like a little makeshift slip, slide. I don't know. It was terrifying. But it's crazy. This is a really cool. So there's a Kickstarter edition number A. Included with classic spawn Kickstarter action figure, red foil logo. So this is super cool. Spawn Director's Cut number one. That is awesome. So one 9.8 down. I thought these would be really cool to get graded if they all came back in 9.8. So here, that's the one that's the classic. Uh, let's see which one we have next. Hey! Two for two on 9 eighths for this. I got these with the intention of selling these to make up the cost of the action figures. Now I'm just like, mm, these are really cool. I wonder how many grade on the census. I'll look that up later. But this is really cool to get a 9-8 on this one. Spawn Director's Cut number one. A green foil goodness. Man, that's awesome. All right, here it is. Now, this is going to be a black and white version of the one we just saw. Oh, went in order, too. The A, cover B, and this cover C. Oh, we got all three. <laughs> Phenomenal. All three of them made the cut. Man, these are really cool looking. Ugh, I don't know if I can sell these now. I kind of... Ah! So Spawn Director's Cut number one, all three got a 9.8. I'll have to see what the sense is on these. But like, I just felt they'd be really difficult 9.8. Oh, here's a fun little spec book that I that I ordered ahead of time. This is Yosagi Yojimbo, number 20. It's the first appearance of, of like the new sidekick. Ah, the name escapes me right now. But this is the second printing. I know the first printing is commanding a lot of money. I think the second printing is ungraded. I'm still holding like maybe like $10, $15. So I got a couple of them graded just to kind of see what happens. I know that new Netflix show is coming, so we don't know what characters they'll introduce. All right, so we got another 20 second printing and a 9.8. Let's go. Let's go, guys. So far, this box, box has been flawless so far. Flawless box so far. So number 20 second printing, 9.8. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Man, this is a lot of slabs. There's a lot of slabs. All right, next up is going to be, oh, a lock and key number one negative edition. This one we got a oh, 9.2. Oh, I can see why easily. Easily see why it's 9.2. All right, well, that's one. That's just not, All right, I can see why now. All right, 9.2 on that one. Still a really rare book. I think there's only like a couple thousand of these out there. Oh, we had a couple more of those Usagis. 9.8 there. Fantastic. So far, just the one nine. Dude, those spawn ones are the ones I was actually terrified about. Very scary about those. So Yusagi second print, 9.8. Oh, we got one High Republic we snuck in here? Oh yeah, just a cover B, a variant cover. All right, number one variant cover. Very nice, 9.8 on that one. And then two copies of a series of just like a, a couple little random spec books. Just a white number one from Black Mask, just a number one second printing. Last book up on this one is gonna be a High Republic number one, the variant cover. Dang, all right, so that one, that box we got. and anyway, so we hit all nine eights on that box, except for that one 9.2. All right, guys, so for this one, we're going to give away a copy of the High Republic number one uh, to one lucky winner for this video for this part two. Like I said, just drop me a comment down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're on our push to 4,000 subscribers, and I cannot believe it. I'm very excited to be part of this journey. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Uh, always giving me that feedback. I do appreciate it. I always have a great time with this with you guys. So hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, but that's it for this one. What a haul. 125 graded books. I think, I think there's only maybe... 10, 10, I think 12 books that didn't make a 9.8. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. 
Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Skeff, out.